I'm going to start over. We're going to be doing an alteration for a large waist. We're going to do a back and a front. The back we're going to do seam method. The front we're going to do slash method. And you're going to see that they work out to be exactly the same thing. Um, this is the most common alteration we do because when you're choosing a pattern for a lower body project, it is less work to make sure that you choose the pattern that will fit your hip line and then adjust your waistline to fit than it is to pick the pattern that your waistline fits, but then you have to adjust crotch curve, crotch depth, hip line, thigh line, and everything else down the side. So it's more important when you're choosing a lower body project that you go to off hip measurement and then adjust the waist than it is to go off waist and have to adjust everything else. So if we, I'm gonna turn it around this way. If we are adjusting the waistline, that's this line up here. So if we're doing seam method, we're just gonna cut the seam line off down to uh, hip line. We're gonna pivot right here at hip line. And we're doing a quarter inch adjustment for a large waist. So what does that mean? It gets bigger. So right here at waistline, you're gonna gap it a quarter of an inch. Okay, I'm gonna secure my paper onto the stationary piece below so it doesn't shift. Yep, I'm gonna cut to hip line and then put a pivot relief cut. At the waistline, I'm gonna measure the quarter of an inch to make sure that I have it gapped appropriately. And I'm gonna tape it down. And I'm done. Did I affect my darts in any way? Did this increase or change my curve in any way? Do I need to fold my darts to correct this? Nope, just burp. that's it. Now what happens if I was increasing this by two inches? Would I need to fold my darts? Yes, because I would need to correct that curve and that curve would be steeper up the side. Would you ever correct it that much? Probably not. Probably not. You'd go with a bigger size. Now, if I add a quarter of an inch here and know that we're correcting, we're doing a front and a back in tandem, and I've added a quarter of an inch here, what am I adding to the front? So how much have I increased the circumference of these pants at the waist? Do I need to ask again? It would, be an inch. it would be an inch. Why would it be an inch? Do you want me to answer? Or yes. Okay. <laughs> because you've got two front pieces, two back pieces. If you add a fourth on each of them, it fills the middle. Correct. Because you have four quadrants of the body. So if you add it to a front, you're going to cut mirror pieces of the front. And if you add it to the back, you're going to cut mirror pieces of the back. So when you're doing your lower body project and you need to add an inch and a half to a waistline, you need to first divide that by four so that you get a, an equivalent number for each quadrant. And then you're gonna only add that one fourth to a front and a back. Okay, the, that's a number one mistake students make is they know they need to adjust two inches. They add two inches to two pieces or they cut it in half and add an inch to the front and an inch to the back and then can't figure out why the pants are too big. Okay, it's pretty common.